So are you trying to send payment to your friend and Cash App says decline for your protection? Are you guys troubled with this problem and you try to fix it so many times but it just doesn't work? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can fix your Cash App's decline for your protection. So there's like a, you know, small reason why this problem is being caused and by watching this video, you can fix it. But before that, if you guys are new to our channel, How to Guide, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notification on so you guys can get notified for our future video. And if you guys have any question, you can feel free to ask us in the comment. I'll be happy to answer you guys. And let's jump into the video without any further ado. Now, so Cash App doesn't allow payment to happen if you're trying to send money to an account which Cash App think is a scammer's account. So Cash App is a place for sending and receiving money. So a lot of scammers are in Cash App. So you got to be careful to who you are sending money because once your money is sent to a person, you can't renew it or you can't recover that money and Cash App is just not going to return you that money. All right. Once it's transferred, it's gone. So due to some reasons, so Cash App has a policy. So if a lot of people report a Cash App account, so let's say somebody opened a scamming Cash App account. Let's say Kevin opened a scamming Cash App account, which he uses to steal money from other people. And a lot of people reported that account and Cash App is like, you know, watching that account because it's a suspicious account because a lot of people reported it. All right. And you try to send money to that account. What Cash App is going to do is Cash App is not going to allow that transaction to happen in order to secure your money. Now, until and unless Cash App verifies that that account is not of a scammer, nobody can send money to him, all right? So if that's the case and that's the problem, the only way to fix it is to wait until Cash App examines that account. And if Cash App thinks that it's a scammer's account, then it's going to ban it. But if Cash App thinks this is not a scammer account, they just misjudged it, they're going to remove the, you know, temporary ban. You can also see a temporary ban and you can again send money to that account. But let's say like you're trying to send money to your friend and it says, you know, decline for your protection. What you got to do is go to Google and you got to search for Cash App staff's phone number. All right. It's going to give you a contact number of Cash App staff. You got to call them and speak with the staff of Cash App telling them, can you let this transfer happen? Because that's my friend's account. It's not a scammer's account because why is it showing me decline for your protection? Please help me fix it. They're really helpful and they'll help you fix it. All right. So that's just how you guys can fix this problem. But if you're sending money to an unknown person, you got to be careful once this shows you, all right? Because it might be a scammer. So hope you guys understand. Just don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and bye-bye everybody. Have a nice day.